Okay, hey, this is Gary G. We're here at the 2014 ESPN Science Newton Awards, and I have Marcellus Wiley. Mr. Wiley, how you feeling tonight? You calling me Mr. Wiley? I'm younger than you. That's right. You. <laughs> You're right, show you right. I'm just giving you deference. How's that? Oh, respect. That, that's worth. Respect. That's worth it. Huh? Well, let's talk about the Newton Awards. What What are your thoughts? What? Are, how impressed are you? Oh, it's a tremendous award, tremendous ceremony. Uh, you know, really acknowledging athletes and, and the athleticism that they're exhibiting right now. It's, it's next level, and it, it's tough enough to just be a professional athlete. But when you rise above the rest because of your talents or individual performance and get acknowledged for it. Um, obviously, it's a great accomplishment. Now, if they had those awards back then when you were playing. Don't even go there. Come on, go. <laughs> come on. I'm sure you would have had your cl a claim to fame. I try to remember in some of the more athletic plays that I made. And when you watch the highlights of these guys, and right now what these guys are doing out there, uh, seven-year-olds have motion sensors in their shoes. And, you know, they're tracking their sleep patterns. And these guys are so focused on their technique. And and biomechanics, it's next level, and right. I respect it. I'm not one of those old guys, stay off my lawn, and we played better football. No, we right. didn't. It, it's, it's continuing to grow. The guys are getting bigger, faster, stronger, and more knowledgeable, and sports science helps them do that. Okay, let's bring it contemporary. Okay. Last week, Super Bowl. Oh. So oh. what science could have helped Denver, and what science propelled Seattle? Oh. The science, Can you break it down for us? Uh, the science of psychology, don't get psyched out. Uh, don't spot a defensive team 22 points uh, on the first play from scrimmage. Uh, do the routine things. Um, you sometimes you lose a ball game between the ears before you even step on the field between the lines. And that looked like one of those ball games. And uh, I'm sure every athlete's been in there before where they've recognized that today I don't have it, today my teammates don't have it. And, and you try to hit that switch, and you're trying to hit that switch, but – no juice in that switch that day. And then, you know, congratulations to Seattle because they took full advantage of the fact that Denver didn't show up. Now, I think you selected. Uh, I picked the Seattle Seahawks, I even though I'm a Denver Bronco fan, Carl Mecklenburg, All Steve right. Atwater and the boys. Uh, I grew up a Bronco fan, but I didn't root with my heart. I rooted with my mind, and I knew that Seattle would take it to them. Not in that fashion, but right. I just thought that Seattle would pull it out. Defensive battle, and um, they took it to the boys. All right. Well, this is Gary G. And Mr. Marcellus Wiley. There you go. From <laughs> yeah. now on, Mr. All right, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Jerry.